So, what I want to work today is to actually fix our path or well tailor our path a little bit better. So we select a guy and we tell him to move onto a position. But you see, it doesn't take, really take into account what happens with the, yeah, well, basically with our path. Okay, so it just runs a straight line and we can see that our path, especially for this path, it doesn't really go, well, we do not have any visual representation of how he's going there. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to see a change or a small tweak, but later we're going to fix it to be even more precise instead of having it the way we do it right now. So when you are setting up the position, so for example, when we say add a step, we are simply saving a target position. Instead of just a target position, we're going to save uh, much more. Let's uh, use the unitagent.ai and I'm going to say path. I'm going to be storing the path instead. So on the target position, instead of saving a target position, we're going to say as path, but we kind of need to say navmes dot uh, path, let's say calculate path from the source position, which in this case, uh, that will be the previous path or where the final position of that path is. Okay, so uh, we are adding that on our steps. So here's what we need to be finding. First of all, we need to know the origin okay and it will start from our own transfer dot position from the unit controller now if uh, steps dot count if the steps we've already added are higher than zero so at least we've added one then origin will be steps steps dot count minus minus one dot target position okay so that it will be the last path you walked on to so calculate path from origin to target position area mask we're just going to assign all all areas and the navmes path we want this to be added on it will be let's see is going to be the step dot path. Okay, and it's going to be saved there, but we're going to have to do an out and we're going to have to delete this. Uh, yeah, no, we don't need an out, we're just going to assign it there. So this will calculate the path and we're now going to have a step and each step will actually have a path in it. So it's going to make a little bit more complicated. Uh, it's going to complicate a little bit the step visualization right now. So let's see, we can say an if here. Well, okay, we should do this. Okay, so now when you are updating the step visualization, instead of just taking a position from each of the steps, we're actually going to have to do the entire path. So we will do for, let's say, A inside steps I dot path dot corners dot length we're going to have to do and add all these steps now this is kind of a problem because we of course 
do not have uh, we don't know the entire position count for this so we're going to create a list of vector threes for positions okay and instead we're going to say positions dot add steps i dot path dot corners a dot position let's see oh scale set hmm. no it's a vector three i think yeah it's a vector three already so after that we're going to go through all of our positions dot count and we're going to say path v's set position position i plus the offset but path v's position count is going to be positions dot count okay so that's how we're going to set it up and it will take the entire position of the calculated path one more thing though we need to do this here as well even if uh, it's the first step so oh and actually we are already doing this so this can be simplified to this okay Oops. okay then we're going to take this so if it's the first step and we can just take the origin up here we transfer the position okay so essentially we're doing the same thing we calculate the path we store it onto the steps path we can also bring this actually we do not have to create the class if we don't need any of this and technically we should also be doing the distance check he down here as well okay so now this should be visualizing the entire path uh, it takes the unit to go onto a position okay I'm saying technically because you never know what is going to go wrong so let's click on this guy and let's click inside and we have an argument out of range let's see where it is at 94 uh, oops wrong one 94 which will be up here yeah because we do not have the step count yeah okay so let's make this down here oops and then that will be target position from origin okay there goes that let's uh, test it now select the guy select inside and let's see object reference not set to an instance of an object and I believe that is because the path needs to be uh, instantiated okay and we're going to have to do the same thing over here okay because it's basically just a holder we have to instantiate it first it does and it's going to reference the values and update them inside then true enough you can see that that's the entire path it's going to take only downside to this is cases like this it doesn't take into account obstacles okay so we're going to have to think of something uh, we can do there but as you can see 
it's basically giving us a more uh, accurate path of where it's going and what he's going to be doing. I think we're going to have to raise the speed a little bit, but okay. It does, it works for now. Okay, so we now have more specific paths and where everyone is going to go. Okay, so let's say, let's put this guy here. Let's put this guy here. Let's put this guy here. Let's say, wait for A. I think we should yeah okay when we're selecting a guy and if there is steps maybe we should be enabling those let's say wait for a and you wait for a and then after a go inside go around the corner you go inside here 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 wait for b or whatever you know what let's just say just go here here and execute plan. Okay, they wait for A, we run A, and everyone is going in. So, that's it for this part. We wanted to have a more specific visualization for the navmesh agent, and where exactly our path is going to be, because this is, after all, a tactical game, so we kinda need to be specific uh, right now. So. Uh, let's finish this part as always you know what to do like subscribe and if you like to see more stuff like this more of everything then consider supporting me a patron so we can keep making all of these i'll see you next time